uh, you know, there's people that have been known to not eat and not drink, you know, for very extended periods of time, we're talking years, uh, and be monitored in, you know, scientific, com you know, facilities, uh, you know, uh, and, um, you know, they're uh, recycling all their fluids and they are, you know, living off the structure of space. <laughs> um, and um, some of that material that was, um, you know, uh, measured is is public. Some of the uh, some of it is still classified. It'd be nice if it was declassified one day, um, but um, it would be. Uh, so so I think you know there's examples of um, of this. So so the idea that like we're completely relying on um, on the material world that we ingest. Is, is not is not a complete picture of the energy production in, in a body because in a sense the, the food is kind of a derivative of that space-time energy because like uh, you were even saying like eating space-time structure mm -hmm. uh, the, the food is kind of a derivative of that you mm -hmm. could mm -hmm. uh, bypass that and go straight to the source correct and, and what, what we see in, in the the actual uh, cellular and molecular structure that is possible i mean it's well it, it's already doing it to a certain extent correct well you know it's doing it because charge comes from the field mm -hmm. whether we like it or not that's what it says yeah. <laughs> and well, there is a flow but the flow is coming from the field into the wire which is producing a thermodynamic effect in the wire um and um yeah so it, it's a completely different way to think about it and it's the correct way because clearly it gives the correct answer i mean maxwell's equations are very very solid like this yeah so um yeah so you know the the whole so the same thing for the biological structure it's extracting from the field and we're seeing the flow Right, we we see the flow very nicely, you know, mechanically uh, in the fluid dynamics because it it you know at the cellular structure it's easier to see it, um, and and the energy production is significant. It's uh, you know a, a, like uh, your body weight in ATP in one day, uh, you know about a ton of ATP if you run a marathon that day, you know, so it's significantly good energy factory, <laughs> you know, it does the job very well. A uh, hundred degrees is non-trivial thermodynamics, you know, so, uh, you know, it, it, it's like keeping water under boiling <laughs> almost conditions, you know, for almost a hundred years. 